Welcome back to Samstar Games, the place to find new strategy games and today I have a really cool game for you. It's called A Token War and it's a turn-based tactical combat game and it's a really fun one. It has all the good stuff you want from a turn-based combat game like uh, flanking, height bonuses and things like that. So my name is Samstra. As I'm sure you know, we're gonna play on normal difficulty and let's go. Play the campaign. If you're reading this letter, it means you've made your way to the war room, ready to set out on your first campaign. While it might feel like you have no idea what is going on, just remember that you've been trained for this moment your whole life. Today is the day that you bring motivational noun. How about glory? Glory. And other motivational noun. What about victory? Victory. Back to your home, family, country. Home. Okay, home. Why? Because I said so. And because my assistant helped me. You don't, you don't need to mention me, it's fun. I'm just behind the curtain, it's okay. Okay, because I said so. My assistant is super shy. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna start off our mission here. This is where... If this is really our first campaign, you should start at the training grounds. It's not! I am capable and strong. I'm gonna start on the warpath. Alright, so here we begin. What we have to do is we have to place our unit. So we're gonna start by placing our stronghold. Once you destroy the stronghold, you win. Or if the enemy destroys your stronghold, you lose. And then we're gonna place some of our other units. So we've got these trainees and this big ground. The number on the left in the red is your attack and the number on the right is your defense. Or your health, I should say, not defense, sorry. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that if you kill an enemy, you will step on their position, which is a little... I kind of wish that wasn't the case, because it makes the placement a little more, I don't know, confusing. I'm not a like for example now I'm gonna step over there and I can't move away anymore because I'm in range of because I already attack once you attack you move so you have to kind of keep in mind that you're suddenly gonna be in typically bad positions just because you're gonna always kind of step onto the hex yes yeah, so they can kill the big gun it doesn't matter I can still pretty easily win now because we killed all the enemy units we can then click clean up and the game will automatically destroy the enemy thing so I can't quite get used to the change of the position I've lost this game a few times simply because I was like oh I'm gonna get positions like no you step onto the hex where you kill the enemy so yeah but it's something to just get used to I think and we got a new unit we got a big grant so let's go so you can see that this big grant has a silver circle around itself and that means that it's a stronger unit. The copper ones are like the basic ones and this one is a stronger one. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually... So, and this thing on the bottom means that you're allowed to place a silver unit, one silver unit there. Okay? Now this uh, tower is really important because it gives extra HP to any friendly unit and it... Um, if your unit is standing next to the enemy, it will take extra damage. So, now the game does have flanking, so it's something to keep in mind. So I'm actually gonna move over here, I'm gonna try to trick them into moving away from these bonus positions, and we're gonna see if they do that. Okay, so they're choosing not to, but that's okay, we can at least kill one of them. Or at least try to get them to die. Now I could move away, this will give them an opening to attack the homestead. No, I'm not gonna do it, I'm just gonna play st stand like this, we'll see what they do. Okay, they're running away like cowards. Now, remember, if I move forward and kill this thing, I will actually, this unit will die because of the stepping into the hex of the enemy, so something to really keep in mind. I'm gonna move closer to the homestead, this should make them try to fall back, and uh, Try to protect themselves. No, apparently they're like, nope. So let's hit this enemy here. And now we can kill and move forward to there. Okay, now they're starting to fall back because they're realizing, hey, I'm actually going to hit your home. Let's move over here. Okay. Now you can flank enemies. When two or more uh, hostile tokens surround, it doesn't matter from which direction it seems, so that's pretty important. So you can, even if you get kind of gang up on the enemy, you should be able to do a nice 
blank bonus. So this unit will now get hit for one, possibly for two if they choose to kind of gang up on it. They didn't, that's okay. Now we destroyed the homestead, so we have already won. It doesn't matter if you lose a token, it will just come back next turn, so that's perfectly okay. We got some gold. And a scout. Scout is agile. That means that what they can move up and down height uh, without any negative points. So let's go to a scrubby plane and we're going to start this off by placing the homestead here on the left. A big ground, gr ground, scout and a trainee. And we're going to have our spell. Our spell allows us to do one damage to the enemy. So what can we do here? I could kill this magician. Well, not this turn, actually. Okay, do an attack here. It cost me a movement to get there. Okay, so they swap the position with the Magician. So the Magician now has a bonus. Now, I think I'm going to... This is going to cost us two action, though, if we just straight up go and kill it. Let's move the Scout this way and just kill this unit. We'll keep the big ground here. Okay, they're again, they're swapping these positions around. Now here, oh, okay, one thing to keep in mind, we gotta hit this, this chest, this is super important, uh, because we wanna get the money from it. So, and we're gonna place the big ground here so that we get a bonus on the chest. I should have done that previously. Now they're hitting my trainee here, killing it with their spell. That's kind of fine. I don't really care about it. Let's keep hitting the chest. And I think we're going to start moving upwards here to go at the homestead. Okay, they're trying to hit my homestead. Oh, interesting. Now, first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use this spell to kill this trainee. So that he cannot hit my homestead. Then I'm going to use the big run to destroy the chest so we get some money. 55 gold, that's pretty good. And then we'll let them go. Okay, they're moving towards here. So we definitely want to stop them. So I'm going to move like this. And do an attack. They might get one hit at the homestead, which is not ideal. But at least at this point, it's kind of like a free-for-all. Now we can do some nice attack on their homestead. Now you, you cannot click clean up because there's technically still an enemy structure here or enemy unit. But I think we're just gonna go turn by turn. Okay, now now we won. Let's collect all the gold. And we get a training camp which allows us to summon a trainee. Now, this was a checkmark battle, which means that we will get... Uh, if we die, we'll just kind of come back at this point and we'll also gain additional money. So if we die, so that's a pretty cool thing. Now, we could buy a new unit. We could get the court wizard, which allows you to kind of switch places with friendly units. This is pretty cool. I do like the trebuchet, but this trebuchet only allows you to attack structures and strongholds. So that's something to keep in mind. We do have the training camp already fixed. It allows me to restore health, but only to a structure or a magic. Dart. I think we're going to grab the trebuchet. And maybe the court wizard, because the teleportation is interesting, especially since the court wizard has such a high HP. And by high, I mean three. So I do feel like it can be useful. So the trebuchet, it, I don't think it will get increased range. One, two, three, four. But if I move it forward, I might. I'm gonna try to place the trebuchet here, and the training camp here. The homestead will go in the middle, and then we'll place a big ground, a court wizard, and a scout. This might be a batch. Uh, okay, and we definitely want the spell. I, I don't know if this is gonna be the best setup, but I would like to try. So first thing I think I want to do is I want to move to trebuchet forward. Ideally one more step so that we can get hit. Uh, we can attack the enemy. Then I'm going to move. I'm actually not going to move the other big grounds. I'm just going to wait and see what they do. Okay, so this might have a range on my unit if they move one step closer. So first thing I can, I'm going to move step forward with the trebuchet and attack. We'll do it. So an attack of four. So we can destroy the training camp ASAP. Now they are going to hit my person here. It's not great. Now, I don't know if we're going to have a range of the thing. Probably not. And then we're going to try to run 
with the scout up here. Now the... Oh, the wizard can actually attack this thing. That's pretty awesome. Right, so let's try to kill. If I kill this, I'm going to lose this unit. But it's probably better than using the big ground, so let's do it. And then with the trebuchets, if I move here, I will hopefully get a hit at this thing. I'm not I'm not actually sure. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna destroy use their magic to destroy my guy. That's not great. I could, however, do an attack of two and kill this thing. That's great. No, don't flank me. Oh, we get around. We get around. Or we could just kill this thing. Take that step. Now I'm gonna use my spell to hit this enemy. Okay, well, they might kill the big one. I don't know. Trebuchets. Trebuchet can't hit the structure just yet. We're gonna move like this. Move the trebuchet this way. And get a first hit. We're just gonna keep hitting this thing. So the thing about a trebuchet is so like, great, it can only attack structures, not units, but otherwise it's really, really strong. Okay, so this worked out quite well. That we didn't get a single hit to our homestead. All right, if we could get field hospital, your units get plus one health, so this is an upgrade. At the start of the game, gain plus one health for each structure you control. Every four turns, if you have an empty spell slot, fill it with a random spell from your spell book. So this would allow us to use every four turns of the spell. I think we're just going to get your units get plus one health. That seems most important to me. Restore four health to a friendly structure. Or we could get a scout or a training camp. So we could have multiple scouts. I do like the scouts movement. I think we'll just grab one more scout, I think. Well, well, looks like you finally set off on your own. I just wanted to write to you and send my heartfelt good wishes on your quest to ultimately depose me. I'm sure you must have a good reason for doing so. It must be just awful. Right, I apologize, we're going to have to cut this episode a little short, so we're going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments, and you can click on the right to watch other turn-based combat games. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.